welcome back to news info here we bring you updates how it they happen for the area <laughs> as it be like this now waiting there for our table they say that uh, nigeria <laughs> don't go by a uh, attacker um, helicopter hmm. even us don't confirm this thing what would they tell you now this this uh, attacker helicopter when nigeria go by to attack in to attack insecurity in the country what over one billion us dollars now nigeria take by this attacker helicopter <laughs> as it be like this now <laughs> now some people don't come outside the contact say how they go buy attacker helicopter we be say <laughs> hungry they for the land now tell them say defense better oh may they take defend you and now some people can't come outside again come to say hey this attacker helicopter where they buy that now for inside side east they go carry and go same go now they watch however let's play the video eh may you watch and before we go come back now come talk more about this particular video what this video Hi, I'm Anne Wawado. Here's a Channel TV evening news recap for April. The, the United States has approved the sale of military equipment to Nigeria. Lawmakers lifted objections over human rights concerns. The U.S. Defense Security Corporation Agency said the weapons include 12 attack helicopters, 2,000 advanced precision kill weapon system guardian sections, and a night vision imaging system. In a significant move aimed at improving Nigeria's defense capabilities, the United States Department of Defense has confirmed the sale of arms valued at $1 billion to Nigeria. According to a statement issued by the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency, the deal includes the procurement of 12 AH-1Z Viper attack helicopters, as well as 32 mission computers from Northrop Grumman. This strategic move is expected to bolster Nigeria's ability to respond to security challenges and strengthen its overall defense posture, making the purchase of the helicopter, scheduled for completion in June 2024, a significant upgrade to the country's military assets. This procurement marks a significant milestone in the defense cooperation between the United States and Nigeria. The acquisition of 12 AH-1Z Viper attack helicopters will enhance Nigeria's ability to conduct precision strikes and undertake rapid response operations for the country's overall security and stability. This will be the second biggest arms procurement from the U.S. government after the supply of two batches of 6A-29 Super Takano attack aircraft to Nigeria. The sale follows the U.S. State Department's approval in April 2022 of Nigeria's request for the helicopters which includes guidance systems, night vision imaging systems, and extensive training. The equipment to be procured includes 12 AH-1Z attack helicopters, 28T-700GE-401C engines, 2000 APKWS guidance sections, or all precision kill weapon systems, night vision queuing display, target sight system, an aviator's night vision imaging system, M197 20mm machine guns, and other spare parts, tools, and test equipment. The total sum to be paid by Nigeria also covers the training of personnel and handling the equipment. The main point of focus amongst all these equipment is the AH-1Z attack helicopter. The AH-1Z is an attack helicopter developed and manufactured by Bell Helicopters USA. It is an updated version of AH attack helicopter used during the Vietnam War. It is a highly advanced attack helicopter that will provide Nigeria with enhanced capabilities to conduct a wide range of military operations, including counterinsurgency and counterterrorism efforts. The inclusion of 32 mission computers from Northrop Grumman will further augment the effectiveness of the helicopters by providing advanced mission planning and execution capabilities. The helicopter features a composite four-blade main rotor and four-blade tail rotor assemblies driven by two General Electric T700 turbo shaft engines. The cockpits now feature a pair of Rockwell Collins LCDs which allows the helicopter to be piloted from either of its two seats. A key addition to the AH-1Z features is the addition of a helmet-mounted display developed by BE Systems. The helmets allow mission parameters, flight data and other information to be displayed right before the eye of the pilot. Similar to the AH-64 Apache, the helmets are linked to the onboard weapon system for target queuing. The AH-1Z has a range of 425 miles, a service ceiling of over 20,000 feet and can fly at a maximum speed of 410 kilometers per hour. The helicopter has a total of six hardpoints under which Hellfire anti-tank missiles, the AIM, 9, 
Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile and the Hydra 70 rocket pods can be mounted. A 20mm M197 three-barreled Gatling-style cannon is mounted up front, and its fire control is assisted through the longbow radar system developed by Northrop Grumman. The deployment of advanced attack helicopters in Nigeria is expected to have a ripple effect on the security dynamics of West Africa, potentially influencing the balance of power and security architecture in the region. The advanced technological capabilities of the AH-1Z Viper helicopters, coupled with the integrated mission computers, are expected to significantly enhance Nigeria's operational effectiveness and situational awareness, thereby enabling the country to respond more effectively to evolving security challenges. The increased capabilities of the Nigerian military could lead to a more assertive role in addressing security threats not only within its borders but also in neighboring countries thereby reshaping the regional security landscape. This comprehensive package underscores the United States' commitment to supporting Nigeria in its efforts to address security threats and protect its territorial integrity. As both nations work together to enhance regional security, the impact of this strategic move is poised to resonate across West Africa. The collaboration between the United States and Nigeria and strengthening defense capabilities reflects a shared commitment to enhancing regional security and countering transnational threats. Yeah, my wonderful people. <laughs> now, so you see, I'm for the hour, and now, so you take B, the news day everywhere. But what you want us? Now we are the one carrying this attacker helicopter. Go. Is it the problem where would they face right now? <laughs> Even the information where would they get now be said the notorious uh, kidnapper. <laughs> the way the prison for seven years, Nigeria government don't run go release her. Then now we come they ask what is holding them from releasing the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Kutismazin and the Kalo. <laughs> Hey, this country, this country, this country. Now be supporting the help, no? Hey, hey, but uh, as you take here, now we say we we'll bring a caution. I beg, may you help us to share this video so that other people go still know waiting they happen for inside the Nigeria way would they like this. Okay, my people. Uh, we get one other update. What would they get like this? <laughs> Where they happen for the area? As we they talk now, they say that the Funanis don't work out. Funanis for the whole Africa don't come for inside Nigeria, gather for Abuja. They discuss how they go take restore peace within the Funani youth and the federal government. This is dialogue going on. Now we can still ask, waiting happen for other people where they talk so many things like waiting happen for Naja Delta recently. <laughs> now Nigeria army carry their army, say they must revenge. Now, why they no feel go dialogue? and make peace and another one still happened remember say that the terrorists attack nigeria army for ambush but the thing where nigeria they ask for inside this thing will happen may they use that same power where they use for niger delta go for their place go uh, revenge as well <laughs> nobody even talk about the soldiers who went by for inside the matter but however nananja day everybody are tired so what you will go do for this matter we don't know that's why we say more bring our control our people and tell you what they go on for inside the matter may you know please make sure say you share this video and also drop uh, your comment for inside comment session <laughs>